I'm gonna do the stream test right now. Oh, you can definitely feel this difference. Now let's take a look at the new version. Look at that. Hello, welcome to Scratch 3D Printing. This video, I'll be talking about an infill of a 3D printed part. Let's scratch today's topic. This Orca Slicer version is 2.0 RC version. Not quite sure what RC stands for, but maybe it's like race car. I don't know. That's besides the point. They updated a infill that I like using, which is the 3D Honeycomb infill. I love using the 3D Honeycomb infill from Orca Slicer. Other programs has that too. Any slicer that has 3D honeycomb, I just use it because it's very good. One, it looks cool. You can print fast on it, but this new version, you can print even faster. And the most important thing is that you don't need to use a really high percentage of infill in order to cover a large surface area. I'll show you right now. So these mark red are honeycomb infill that are printed on Orca slicer on the Cable Max. This is the original honeycomb or the honeycomb before they update it. And this is what it looks like. I print one in square, one in circle, so you can see how it looks. Yeah, they look really good. And like I said, this is 15% infill, a large surface area with just 15% infill. So this, you can have a really good top layer. Now let's take a look at the new one. Look at these. These are the new infill that Orca Slicer improved on. So this is the old infill. This is the new infill. You can see there's a significant differences. For the old infill, they say that it has many bridging, so it's less ideal for high speed printing. And as you can definitely see here, if we look at the side here, you can totally see that there's many, many gaps. And it doesn't print that well on the side. It has many bridging, less ideal for high speed printing. And the string, I think it's pretty good. I will do a string test at the end of the video. So stay tuned and subscribe to the channel because amazing videos like this is coming all the time. New features, new 3D printing stuff amazing projects so yeah subscribe to the channel it will make my whole week thank you so much now let's take a look at the new version look at that the side here is stacked very nicely there's no gaps at all it just stacked very very nicely and this actually looks a lot cooler and a lot better in my opinion this is with less bridging it's ideal for high speed printing it provides better strength and print quality and i can totally see that i'll put the two side by side here so you can see the differences look at this the the new one the old one okay and you can definitely see that the old one has many gaps, stringing and stuff like that. This one just prints perfectly. Nothing is like, it's stacking very nicely, right? And by the way, these two are printing using the exact same setting. This was just printed with the older version, the beta release version. And then this is just printed with the RC version of Orca Slicer. And the turnout is so much different. They did not mention this on the documentation of Orca Slicer, but their new reamped version of 3D Honeycomb actually reduces the amount of material used. These two pieces printed uses 13 grams of filament, and these two pieces printed using only 10. That's like 3 grams left. So I'm, if you do the percentage, it's about what? I don't know, 3% less? Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, I think it's 3% less out of 100. So 3% less infill for. This. and you can print faster these took 30 minutes and these took 20 minutes 10 minute differences and they still look really good the print quality is actually really nice and the strength i don't know about the strength yet because this is actually more solid than this but i will do a string test at the end of the video to see which one is actually stronger so yeah that is pretty much it with um, this infill that they updated to this new version they also fixed many bugs too if you want to see the whole thing i will leave links down below so you can go and check orca slicer for yourself but i think it's time for the strength test of this i don't have any like special tools or anything like that i'm just gonna use my hand and just trust me on this on which part has more strength let's start with this square on the old one the old one has this mark and you can t you can just tell by looking at the part it's not the best quality i'm gonna do the strength test right now Oh, okay, I cannot, uh, you cannot bend it in the middle at all. I'm going to try bending it like this. Oh, you can hear it, you can hear it. Oh, look at this. It has deformed. <laughs> looks so cool. Okay, I'm do it the other way. Oh my gosh, this, this infill is very strong. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't even break it. Yeah, this is why I love using 3D honeycomb. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, you, you can't even break this at all. I can try my hardest. Oh, kind of got it. Okay. Deform this a little bit. It could also be the filament that is very tough. Ouch, ouch. 
Well, that's how much deform I got. <laughs> okay, so let's try the new one. Oh. Oh, you can definitely feel this difference. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh my gosh, this one is also really, really tough. Consider it's less material. Ouch, the corner is so short. I'm gonna use the same style. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, that's how much I can just do it. And this is how much I can do it on, on the older version. So it is true that the new version is so much more stronger. I think it's the way that the layer are bonding with each other very nicely. On this one, it doesn't really bond that nice. It just print like overhang and stuff like that. I'm gonna keep trying. So hold the corner and then just push in the middle. It seems that is the best way to do it. Yeah, that is just how much I can do it. You can see the total difference. This one is way bendier. I think if I keep doing it, I can actually break it, break this apart, but my hand, look at my head. Oh no. <sighs> Try so hard. Oh well, yeah, that is pretty much with this video. <laughs> Been talking for way too long. Yeah, the new version, I love it so much. It uses less material, it's more stronger. You can print faster. Oh, by the way, these are printed at 200 millimeters per second. And the quality of this is just two times better than this or even 10 times better than this so yeah that is pretty much it with this video of me looking at these infill honeycomb infill i love using these i just i just use these all the time i don't use any other infill that is pretty much it with this video and subscribe and thank you so much for watching as always keep on 3d printing